Hello, this is going to be a quick walkthrough how I create Kula virtual tours. So we have to go to our Kula website, log in, we should create a new virtual tour. That's the way I like it. Let's name it and choose all our 360 photos. So. I'm gonna go with edited photos and removed all the tripods in it. Just gonna wait uh, for it to upload. So, just before going to the building tour, I would like to rearrange them in the most important sequence. So, the ones that I like to start is exterior, <laughs> adding a few lounge photos, also showing a kitchen and just add the most beautiful photos first that person is gonna see first if they like to choose by the end so when we finished we just save it up and go to editing so this looks quite good uh, a few things to have a note sometimes you need some level correction so i like to test um, all of the panoramas just to see are they straight because it just looks much straighter I like to point at the uh, structural lines so doors windows I tend to see that they are the most most of the time they are the straightest at the same time I'm gonna add point where the first point where the person is gonna start to seeing everything I can add the logo at the bottom if anyone likes to visit and get my services there is quite a few options here they're mostly self-explanatory. I am adding a quick URL to my website. So I'm going to direct them straight to 360 virtual tour page. And I like to open it in a new window. I'm adding master that it will show on all other posts too, on the same scale. When that's done, let's go to the photos and add some hotspots. So the style that I go after is quite minimalistic and easy to go. It relates, uh, it actually looks like Matterport uh, a little bit. So I would take down some opacity to make it a little bit less seen and make it a bit smaller. It's quite easy to add it to other choose another photo that's where it's going to redirect let's have a look about anything else does it need any fixing and everything else looks quite fine for me then I would save it and close it and there is an automatic backlinking so if I go to the other panorama it's going to add the same hotspot and it should do quite a good job Let's then fix our uh, logo. So I like to do it on 2D. Then it's gonna spin as and look always straight as the person looks. That's good. And let's go and add that hot spot. No worries then. Let's add another one. Let's add it to the floor. So look, make it look a bit more appealing. That's going to go to the lounge a bit bigger. So I like to, the bigger, the closer the hotspot is to the center, the bigger it is, the further it is, the smaller. So just physical sentences. And because we have chosen to do backlinking, we have this hotspot created automatically. So we just have to place it back where it comes from. Then we can press it on it and it will go back to the first panorama. So I'm gonna just quickly add uh, 
Let's brought to the outside. So I'm going to delete the one that's been filled and replace the fixed new one. After that, everything is quite self explanatory. This is very few, few main things that I do is check are they leveled up, put hotspots in place, and choose another post. And just do automatic backlinks. We can add a few more. I'm gonna speed this up a little bit just to save your time. So we, we basically just go through all of the property and add all the hotspots. Yeah, so one more thing that I do, I go through every single panorama and fixing level correction. Double check the level correction on both sides, opposite sides of the panorama. And when we are done with the leveling, all the hotspots, thumbnails and directions where people are gonna look, there I'm gonna add some photos. So I take some extra photos in when I do virtual tour and upload them <clears throat> just to show the features and all the main details of the property and a little bit better quality than virtual tour so i'm just gonna do that quickly it's done quite simply with adding a hotspot choosing a different icon for the hotspot i like the camera one self-explanatory of course you can also add social media links website links booking links photos, floor plans, etc. Just gonna go through all of the photos and add them in. And when we are done with the photos, that's basically it. I would just send an embedded code and the link for the customer and ask for their opinion, if there are any changes or no. And yeah, thank you for watching. If you have any questions or would like to learn anything else or would like me to share any any other content let me know in the comments and i hope you having a wonderful day take care